Hello friends, welcome to the video lecture series on artificial intelligence and machine learning. I am Dr. Dafda and in this 17th video class of AIML, we will understand learning agents. Starting with the name, why these agents are called learning agents? These agents are called learning agents because these agents can learn and improve over time. In our previous classes, we discussed different types of agents like simple reflex agent, model based reflex agent, goal based agents and utility based agents and these all agents can also be learning agent that means they can learn and improve over time so these learning agents are the next level of artificial intelligence these agents can improve their performance by learning from experiences just like we humans do okay so let us start so what are learning agents learning agents are special type of intelligent systems that get better over time by learning from experience just like humans unlike simple reflex agent or model based agents learning agents can adapt when they encounter new or unknown situations these agents are made of several important parts a learning element that helps the agent improve a performance element that makes decisions a critic that provides feedback and a problem generator that suggests new actions to explore and all these components work together to help the agent become smarter and more effective so here in the block diagram of learning agent we can see different blocks like critic learning element performance element and problem generator and these blocks are different than the traditional blocks of other agents like simple reflex model based goal based or utility based agents and this makes them unique agents and see from the peas framework every agent has p that is performance which measures the success of an agent behavior e that is environment where an agent operates a that is actuators using which the agent acts in its environment and s that is sensor using which the agent senses the environment so this environment actuators and sensors are present for all other agents also and they differ only in performance for simple reflex agent the performance includes condition action rules for model based reflex agent it also has internal state or memory along with condition action rules for goal based agent the performance additionally has goals and for utility based agent it additionally has utility while for learning agent it additionally has learning element along with critic and problem generator okay now let us see how learning agents work a learning agent is comprised of four main components number 1 the learning element which is responsible for making improvements number 2 the performance element which is responsible for selecting external actions or making decisions which all other agents also have right number 3 is the critic which gives feedback to the agent and determines how the performance should be modified see critic means one who says what is bad or wrong so that you can improve okay and number 4 is the problem generator which is responsible for suggesting actions that will lead to new and informative experiences so the process flow is like this first perception or input using the sensors next is decision making next is action using the actuators and then comes the feedback from the critic by comparison with the performance standard and finally the learning from the feedback first the performance element makes decisions using the current knowledge which the agent has when the agent takes an action the critic evaluates the result for example did the action lead to success or failure this feedback is sent to the learning element which uses it to improve future decisions the problem generator helps the agent explore by suggesting new actions even if they are not immediately optimal or favorable and in this way the agent learns and discovers better strategies over time i hope it is clear now let us see some real life examples of learning agents learning agents are same as we humans are we keep learning and in the same way learning agents keep learning self driving car for example become better drivers by learning from their experiences on the road and see if we consider the same example of self driving car for all the five agents if there is a roadblock ahead then for simple reflex agent it will simply change the route that is simple condition action rule if block then change the route it will not think that some other car may be nearby okay but for model based reflex agent it has memory of other cars which is coming behind so it will change the route accordingly 
that is if the other car is very near in the parallel lane it will slow down allow other car to pass and then change the lane or route while for goal based agent it will slow down allow other car to pass and then change the route or lane in such a way that the next route direction is closer to its goal while for utility based agent it will turn in this direction as its destination is towards this direction but ahead also if there are three ways or roads or paths to reach the destination it will choose the shortest path with less traffic so that the customer happily reaches its destination early but for learning agent or if this self driving car is a learning agent it will learn which out of the three routes is the best route in every trip it passes on the route for example this first route may be shortest but it is usually facing traffic jam due to school on the route so it will not choose this route and this second route has a railway crossing which may be closed so it will not choose this route also then its decision will be the third route in spite of being a little longer so it will choose this route so this is the behavior of the learning agent even the recommendation systems like the ones used by youtube or netflix suggest content based on what they have learned about your preferences over time in factories robots learn to perform tasks more efficiently and even adapt when new jobs are given virtual assistants like siri or alexa improve their understanding of your voice and preferences the more you use them so these examples show how learning agents make our technology smarter and more personalized okay learning agents offer many benefits first they are adaptable which means they can handle new or changing environments without needing to be reprogrammed they continuously improve by learning from feedback so the more experience they have the better they perform learning agents are also flexible they can adjust to different tasks and goals as needed over time they become more efficient helping to reduce errors and improve performance this makes them incredibly valuable in dynamic real world situations while learning agents are powerful they do have some limitations designing a learning agent is complex because you need to carefully plan how it will learn they also depend heavily on data the more data they have the better they learn but gathering and processing this data can be challenging learning takes time so improving performance isn't instant additionally learning agents require a lot of computing power especially for making quick decisions in real time so these challenges needs to be considered when developing and using learning agents so in conclusion we can say that learning agents are intelligent agents that get better over time by learning from their experiences they consist of several key parts including the performance element learning element critic and problem generator we have seen that how they are used in real life from self driving cars to recommendation systems they offer many benefits like adaptability and continuous improvement but they also have some limitations such as complexity and high computational costs understanding learning agents help us appreciate how ai systems become smarter and more effective over time so that is all for this video class you will find google drive link to download the ppts from the description box thank you very much